So good morning and welcome back to Rockstar UK. In this episode we are going to continue working on the uh, white ruck or turbo ruck which it's not anymore but um, we're going to put the carburetor on, um, hopefully get it running, uh, do some little bits like that, a little bit of servicing maybe on the carburetor if it needs it but I'll, uh, we'll just uh, bring you along for the work and getting it tuned up and, and riding. So let's crack on. So first things first we've got to remove the seat, I've already taken the bolts out and unclipped the rear light so I should be able to, well let's try it now, yep, there we go, so remove that and we can get to the sort of like the boost section of what was on, on the bike, um, obviously blow off valve wasn't working but um, we are going to take all of this off and clean up the the flange down there and then we can start mating our TRS all-in-one clocking flange and NCY uh, or TRS uh, manifold for an OCO 28 or 30 mil carburetor. We also got some, it is Loctite but it's a, it's a gasket sealer. Um, I prefer to use gasket sealer than the actual gaskets because they I find them I get leaks so I literally smother this face smother that face um, sandwich them together let them sit there for a good couple of hours at least before trying to start the bike um, and obviously I've done, when I did this one I've done that so we'll have to clean that up um, I'll probably be replacing these plastics because they were trimmed for the turbo application so I could get the flanges in and get all the pipe work where I needed it to sit um, so yeah, first of all, let's take all of this lot off and go from there. Okay, so now we've got everything off. Just make sure this port face is nice and clean and don't get anything down in the port itself. Um, give it a check over, see what you can see in there. Um, I've put a flashlight down in there. Everything looks really good and clean, no carbonisation, no no nasty little bits and bobs down in there and I can see that the valve is still clean and seated well so clean this face up I've just used a little little um, knife just give it a run across it and then we can start getting the manifold uh, this section the bottom section on there and then yeah we start assembling it really So once you've got this bolted down, I'll see you've got your two holes which then put your clocking flange on. This face is angled in a way in which it keeps the float bowl nice and level or leveler. Now this face here is where your manifold is going to sit. So if we grab grab the manifold, this is how it's go Ooh, this is how it's going to sit. Now I don't recommend putting gaskets maker or sealant all the way over this because it's just gonna make it look messy so with the o-ring installed that you get with the manifold smear it all over that face and then 
plonk that on, do that up, and jobs are good and Okay, so once we have the man manifold uh, bolted in place, um, I'm just using some existing ones because I've run out of bolts, but I can always change these at a later date. I've got some coming. Um, really, we're ready to pop the carburetor on, clock its angle, do these two up. I've already got my carburetor already plumbed up, obviously, because I had it on the turbo side. So let's uh, pop it in and see if we can get this thing started. Obviously, wait for this to dry first but we're getting there okay so now we got the carburetor on i've had to make a weird little plug for this uh back one this i don't know if it's a genuine oco carb it doesn't look like it um because there's this like extra vacuum port on the back so i've run it run the vacuum to the the actual piece that's on the on the inlet manifold I also run that to my Makuni pump that's down there. The fuel line is what was there already. Um, so I've just blanked this one off with a, with a little sort of like uh, nipple plug. I didn't have the correct size sort of blanking nipple. So what I've done is I've super glued it inside like a little bit of clear and then put it on the top of that. So um, what I've done is also I've, on the side um, you've got your... Let me see if it will focus, probably not. So here you've got your um, idle adjustment screw and then just here there is the fuel mixture screw. So what I've actually done is um, turned it all the way in and then back out half. It's just a standard sort of setup. And hopefully that will fire now. And um, oh, let's try it. It's been dry for about an hour or so so it's going to be a bit hard doing this one-handed so bear with me So now we can tweak the the idle. Bring, it, bring that up a little bit. Tweak all your mixtures. So what you can do now is tweak your idle. Oh, sorry. Tweak your idle. Um, tweak your mixture on the side. Ideally, what you want to do is in the bung there, stick an AFR gauge in it, and actually get your readings nice throughout your whole rev range. Um, we're going to stick the seat on and the filter on hopefully the filter fits if not i'll have to figure something out but then we can plumb the seat back up and she's good to go so there we have it filters on carbs on seats back on lights clipped in so uh yeah we're uh, all ready to go for the wife uh can't remember if we've run out of mot or not i don't think so so anyway MOT it, tax it, insure it, and she can go. Anyway, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, like, share, subscribe, all of those good things, and I'll see all you guys in the next video.